And we're back, folks! Taking a little guided tour. Whee! Well, we are the worst Sasquatch in the world. She looks friendly in a scary sort of way. And we'll talk to her. Hello! Hey, baby, what's your sign? Uh oh. Property of Vanuatu. Vanuahu? Vanuatu. The Bigfoot Chief. The guy who just gave that speech. Yes. My husband. Okay. Don't sweat it, Junior. If I had a tree for every time a teenage Bigfoot made a drunken pass at me, we surely wouldn't be in the mess we're in today. Not really. Hmm. It must be a hoot being married to our commander in chief. Yeah. Oh, it's not that good. Sure, you get to travel, but sometimes you get so lonely. Why, just yesterday, I was telling my therapist, Nancy. Nancy? Nancy sometimes is so lonely at the top. So she said, yada, yada, yada. Bow, bow, bow. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, I just said, walla, walla, walla. And then she said, bow, bow, bow. Mm. So naturally, I said, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So she said, wabada, wabada, wabada. How long is this going to go on for? Yada, yada, yada. A long time, isn't it? Yada, yada, yada. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. Bow, bow, bow. What have I started? Of course, I just said, yib, yib, yib. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Well, this is interesting. Yib, yib, yib. Yada, yada, yada. Will she be caught? So she said, yada, yada, yada. I did. Help. Don't be a stranger. Help. Run away. Stop. Oh. Sorry, hon. Only Yeti elders are allowed in the pool area. Okay, we'll go back to the kitchen then. Hmm. It's a freezer. Hmm, what's this? It's a nice pick. Did it make his ears burn? We'll take it. Ooh, let's use this door. What's here? I can't pick that up. I'm sorry. You... Uh oh! Yikes! Uh oh! Well, well, well. A bigfoot. Uh oh! Sure is a scrawny feller. A Bigfoot in the hand is worth two in the bush, Lee Harvey. What? Oh, uh, sorry, boss. The nemesis! There's nothing of it, old chap. Now, be a good lad and pop off to the bus and get the next one. What? Yes, sir, Mr. Bumpus. Oh, dear. Um. What do you think you're doing? Good question. I'm going to put you in my menagerie, you mangy Bigfoot. I don't think he know. He can't recognize us. Look behind you. A three-headed monkey. It's not going to work, is it? Nice try. I can't be in your menagerie. I don't know how to play an instrument. Good point. You'll be amazed how a few hundred volts speeds up the learning process. <laughs> Where'd you get that British accent, anyway? Good question. I'm originally from Liverpool, twit. You. <laughs> Ew. Why do you persecute harmless Bigfoot? Good question. Harmless? Yeah. Harmless? Yep. I'll have you know my parents were killed by a rabid Bigfoot. Okay. Really? Really? Well, no. No. Actually, I'm just a warped evil person who gets his jollies tortured in cute woodland creatures. Yeah. Thought so. Well, that's a valid motivation, too. I'm not really a Bigfoot, you know. Call the other one. Look. You'll never get away with this. Ooh, I'm so scared. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're really not a big fan. Watch. Don't make a move. How do I? Don't make a move. How do I remove this? Don't make a move. Don't make a move. <sighs> Don't make a move. Well, I think I know how to remove this costume. It's a 
stilt walker's costume covered with tar, faux woolly mammoth ah, hair, and a use, toupee. Use it. Is that going to do it? Maybe this will convince you that I'm not a Bigfoot. Okay. Taking off the costume. You again? Yep. I left the net back in Bumpersville. Forget the net. We're going to disguise ourselves as a Bigfoot. Oh, Why? yeah. So we can infiltrate their ranks, learn their ways, and pick them off at our leisure. You've been evil, oh. aren't you? And no funny stuff, dog boy. Yeah. Okay. No funny stuff at hey. all. I wouldn't move if I were you. Yeah. Hey, Max, why don't you make yourself useful? Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh dear! That was fun. That was now fun. future generations will be able to enjoy his atonal warblings. Are there any more shrimp balls back here? I don't know. Who, who are you? We're the freelance police. Hello! We just saved your collective hash. Hooray! Really? Then I guess it'd be okay to make you honorary Yeti chief. Hooray! Walk this way. Oh well. Can I have your attention, please? Hey. Although it's our tradition to allow only Bigfoots and their dates to these gatherings, these two have shown themselves worthy of our gratitude and our trust. We're just that badass. These are a naive people. Yep. And so I'm granting them the title of Honorary Bigfoot Chief. So don't mess with them. That's okay. it? Honorary Bigfoot Chief? Where's the cash? <laughs> we don't want Bigfoot money, Max. It's probably made of tree bark or something. Good point. I know, but it's the principle of the thing. Yeah, it is. You may now wander freely about the convention floor without concern for your health. Excellent. Gee, thanks. Think nothing of it. Follow me. Uh-oh. Exposition time? Yes, exposition time. You might want to pull up a book or a comfy chair, folks. This is going to take a while. Since you have proven yourselves to be friends of the Yeti, okay. I have brought you here to share in our biggest secret. These great totem poles have been gathered from across the world and passed down from generation to generation of Bigfoots. Okay. Like fruitcake. Yay! We believe they hold the answer to our ultimate salvation. Fair enough. But the secret of their purpose is a riddle we've been unable to no, fathom. No, we can do that. Sounds heavy. We can do it. Like fruitcake. Yeah, fruitcake. It's real heavy. Bruno. Bruno. Like fruitcake. Yay! Why aren't you at the party? Who can party while their world comes to an end? Most of your mange-ridden brethren, apparently. Yep. I told you it was a bad idea to spike the punch. Yeah. I thought it would loosen up everyone's imagination. No, no. No wonder we're facing extinction. Okay, guys, here's the situation. Okay. The Bigfoot way of life is rapidly going down the tube. I noticed. These totem poles might be able to save us, but, but A, we don't know what they mean. Okay. B, most of us have been partying too much to figure out what they okay. mean. Okay. And C, we Bigfoots have a hard time operating in public, if you know what I mean. Yeah. We wouldn't normally be asking for help, but we're desperate. Well, that's how we get most of our gigs, so why not? <laughs> like fruitcake! Great. Why don't you three get cracking on the totem poles? I'm going to the hot tub. Uh, okay. Hey, Bruno. Just told you briefly. Okay, Sam. He's here. We're here. Let's go. Wait. Go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big lummox. <laughs> I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I'm staying right here. Psst, Max. What? Maybe we should wait a while before returning Bruno to his well-meaning yet horribly twisted owners. Why? Yeah, good question. Because I have a sick, gnarled premonition that something important is going to happen to the Bigfoots. And it would be nice if Bruno were here to see it before we slapped him back in a block of ice. Yeah. You're getting soft, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, yes. We've decided to let you roam free until the end of the convention. Gee, thanks. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Um, you can tell us about all this stuff next time. 
Till then, folks, until then, I'll catch you later. See you then. <laughs>